we're in Goodland, Kansas here, and we're out uh, looking at the Shields uh, crop. Uh, Gary, Brett, and Matt Shields at Goodland, Kansas, and they have uh, run uh, a Mustang tool bar, and uh, this is the cow variety here. Uh, it's about the 13th of July, and it's really elongating, probably growing at least a foot a week right now. And you can see those brace roots coming out. The second level of brace roots are coming out down there. But what I wanted to point out was the bands. You can still visually see the effect of the Mustangs going through there. And of course, they shot it into that vacuum down there. And obviously, all the nutrients are there. If you get to looking at this corn crop, it's unbelievable. About 40 pounds of total P, 100 pounds of N is NH3, about 17 pounds of sulfur, and about 17 pounds of K, and about three pounds of zinc. And we're at 3,700 feet above sea level, Alex. You can see this other cross path here where the, they came back this direction in side dress, evidently. So pretty typical. Uh, you'll see those little cracks or fissures, but the bands are in very deep, and it's only like the top inch that's actually exposed to atmosphere. So vacuum injection, that's where the foot ran, uh, right through those slots there. Sealed good for you, too, I think. Uh, We're out here yeah. in uh, Goodland, Kansas, and it's uh, about 6 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, Little rainstorm starting to kick up. Beautiful clouds in the sky, 3,700 feet. This is uh, Brett Shields on, on my uh, left, and this is his brother Matt. And they uh, planted this great decalb crop out here and uh, banded with Mustangs. It was fall strip-tilled also. And um, we have about 100 pounds of in uh, on it uh, in side dress. Look at the side of those fantastic leaf size. What is this variety again, Brett? 6297. 6297. 62 yep. And it's growing about a foot a week right now in this timeline, uh, 13th of July. In fact, I would imagine in the next 10 days we're going to be sure maybe 10%, 20% tassel out here. So uh, coming along really nice. Now this was strip tilled with an Orthman last fall, right Matt? Correct. Yep. And, and uh, you put down some nutrient with it. 60, 20, 60 pounds of N, 20 pounds of FOSS. 60 pounds of N and 20 pounds of FOSS in dual placement. And then uh, they had no plan of buying an Xactric system until they kind of got the word around the countryside that this might help them a little bit. So they came back in and side dressed this. And that was about two weeks ago, wasn't it, that you side dressed this corn? I remember it was the end of June. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably about six leaf corn we got to this. So. Yeah. Yeah. And you you side dressed a lot of your acres. Side dressed all the irrigated acres this year. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, this has got a total of 160 total pounds of N as uh, NH3. It's got a total of 40 uh, total pounds of P. So uh, once again, about 60 and 20 was put on in the fall. 60 pounds in is NH3, 20 pounds of P. Well, the, uh, the 60 of uh, anhydr or nitrogen is actually put down as liquid in the fall. It was liquid, liquid 32. 30, it was 32. Yeah, it was 32. Right. Oh, I see. Yep. yep. Yeah. The, the Budget Buster, Solution 32. Yeah. 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 Well, good old NH3 today is about 560 a ton and going down, and I think it's going to be a stellar move for a lot of guys across the Great Plains using good old anhydrous ammonia to raise these great corn crops. I got to tell you, four inch wide leaves, that's pretty impressive. And uh, what would you do different? Oh, I can't really think of anything actually. Next yep. year I might try to run uh, in front of the planter instead of side dressing, but mm -hmm. we'll see what next year brings, I guess. Yeah. And Turned your the sprinkler on earlier? Yeah. <laughs> Just turn the so sprinkler dry. on earlier. Oh, it, it's going to water. It's going to set a record next year for rainfall, probably 20 inches in May. Well, well, like, like <laughs> Iowa. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> well, if they can get 20 inches up in uh, North Dakota at Henninger County, you can get 20 inches here, believe me. Well, I guess that's it, Alex. I guess we better cut her off and go get a bite to eat.